Hello my fellow trigeminal neuralgia sufferers, my name is Nairi and I've had trigeminal neuralgia for a few years. Check out my channel if you want to see the beginning of my story and where I am today. Apologies, squeaking seagull in the background. So I've got five things for you that I think are really important, particularly if you're early in the journey, but actually this could be something you might need to hear from me if you're further on in the journey. Uh, it's been a while since I've shared with you, so here we go, five points. The first thing to say is, when you go to different professionals, medics, GPs, you might expect that you're going to be given more information about the condition and that you're going to be supported and helped. Now, this isn't necessarily my experience. I've had very mixed experiences with medics. Some people have been really helpful and explained more to me and others have not had a clue. And they've also not always agreed with each other. So that's been very hard to deal with. And sometimes I've come away from appointments feeling very down. Other times I felt very helped. So yeah, be prepared for mixed messages and for a lot of confusion. And I think you'll find that is going to be quite normal. The second thing I want to say is something that you need to definitely avoid is comparison with other people about your condition. When you go online, you'll find there are very few channels such as myself that share everyday experiences it's around TN and it's more that you have people on there that are sharing how you can get medical intervention particularly surgery you don't really have that many people that share their experiences you might see people on there that are sharing flare-ups and the more sort of severe end of what's going on but it's very easy to look and think have I got TN haven't I I don't have that type of experience I don't have that type of pain my pain's different but I'm pretty sure I've got it and I think that most professionals will tell you that if you've got facial pain, severe facial pain down one side of your face, which is unexplained, and medications that are generally used for TN are working on you, even if you haven't had a result from an MRI scan and there's nothing physical that can actually prove that you have it, that you probably have it. And when you start to compare to other people explaining their pain experiences, some people will explain the pain as like a bolt like of lightning, almost like like that floors them other people will say it's a really deep pain nagging pain i mean everybody will tell you it's a severe pain but they will describe it in different ways and different people will be at different stages on their journey so they might be quite early on where it's really severe or they may be being treated with medication and they're getting a bit better like myself so please do not try and compare don't try and compare to other people because I do think TN is a very individual experience and people do experience different levels of pain and different types of pain. So that's number two. Number three. So number three is it's okay to take days out of your life and just rest. And uh, this is probably going to happen if you're early on in experience and you're not going to have any choice about that. But even as you start to get better, my advice to you is listen to your body and do not try and fight against it try in all ways that you possibly can to rest and let those nerve endings sort of bed back down again and and kind of avoid having situations where you're making it worse and don't worry about what other people think because all of a sudden you have a condition that takes you out of life in a way that you've never experienced before and if you're a busy person or you have a busy work schedule hobbies people that you normally see all of a sudden you can't do it you might find that really difficult but again in my experience you just have to be prepared to accept that life will be different and take those times and those days out and dare I say even when you're stable I would consider that I'm not in remission but I'm stable I still do get bad days um, but I would say that things are a lot better for me but I still get days where I just need to rest and I, I can't always explain to you why that is but I just have bad days and sometimes that's the medication. So I think it's okay to do that and it's really important not to fight that. So my next point for you, number four, is to do you think as well that it's important to understand that your body has to adjust not only to the pain that you've been experiencing and the condition that you now have, but also the medication that you're on and that it's okay as well to take time out to adjust to medication. 
in the beginning you'll have to if you're anything like me you just won't be able to function at all but after a while I think um, that sort of calms down but medication always has an effect on you particularly to have a medication that we need to use as TN sufferers or if you're a chronic pain sufferer it will have an impact on your body and again I think it's fine to take time out and accept that and and I think it's important not to fight against that so I know that's similar to my other point but this is really in reaction to the kind of medications that you'll be on and number five is you might have a, an idea that people will begin to understand what you're going through and even your nearest and dearest will not really understand what you're going through so you might think that you can be protected by other people around you because of it and obviously if they see you in severe pain they're going to be concerned for you and they're going to try and help you to relax and rest and they're going to try and look after you but I think after a time when things sort of settle down a little bit more this is maybe where it's a little bit more difficult and you'll have people come up to you and say oh how is that thing that you have how are you doing and you'll find yourself on a good day saying oh yeah not too bad but if it was on a bad day you'd be like well that's pretty bad it's awful and you find yourself not really being able to explain to people the differences that you have on a daily basis and how the pain affects you in different ways on different days and how you have different triggers and to my mind again it relates back to the other two points that you alone are going to have to be responsible for taking the rest you need and you alone are going to be responsible for helping and guarding your well-being because af after a while people will not really want to hear about the symptoms and not really understand still not understand what it is you're going through because they've not been through it themselves so there are five things to think about with tm i hope it helps you based on my own experiences nobody else's if you think that a tm channel is going to be useful to you because you think you have it or you know you have it or you have a really chronic pain condition which is very say unusual and people don't understand it then this channel should be useful for you so i'll see you on let's face it together thank you